Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about how to measure conversions and custom events in your Google Analytics 4 property. So what you see in front of your screen is the new Google Analytics 4 uh, property and as you can see there is a bunch of new changes, updates and features uh, which is much better than the previous Google Analytics um, you know, set up. Um, if you don't know how to set up a new Google Analytics 4 property on your website, make sure to check my other video on my YouTube channel where I explain step-by-step -step process on installing the new Google Analytics 4 on your website. Okay, so let's get started. Um, for this video, I'm going to be taking an example of um, measuring form submissions on your contact us page. Now, um, this is my about page and at the very bottom, I have a lead generation form and my goal is to track how many form submissions I'm getting um, in my Google Analytics 4 account. Um, and the good thing is you will be also able to figure out uh, the original source meaning from where exactly they came from, whether it's an ad or organic or any other channel for that particular conversion. So I want to track my lead generation form submissions um, in my Google Analytics 4 account. So to do that, the first step is to go to your Google Analytics uh, account, GA4, and then you need to check whether you have this um, events section enabled. You know, Google is still rolling out these features, um, but if it's enabled, then um, you should get to see default event that's already being tracked on your GA4 property. So for example, Google Analytics 4 is already tracking click event, first visit, page view, um, scroll, session start, and video start. Like these are all the events um, Google is already tracking. Now this is the custom event that I created and I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom event. Um, in the previous version, it's called as a goal, uh, but in, in the new GA4 property, you can consider that as an event. All right, so go back, go log into your Google Tag Manager because we will be setting up a custom event using Google Tag Manager. So go to tagmanager.google.com and then choose your container and then we need to create a new tag. Uh, now again, if you don't know what a Google Tag Manager is and if you have not um, you know, installed a Tag Manager on your website, then I have a separate video on that as well on my YouTube channel. So let's, let's go ahead and create a new tag. Now in this case, I'm gonna name this tag as Contact Us Page Lead Legion Form, right? We want to track all the people who are filling out the form on my contact us page. All right. Under tag configuration, uh, you should get to see this new Google Analytics GA4 event. So you choose that. All right. Under configuration tag, you select your Google Analytics 4 tag configuration. Um, you, you might have named it something else, but basically you need to choose your Google Analytics for tag configuration. And then under event name, you can give an event that makes more sense. For example, um, lead underscore generate contact us. Uh, something like that, right? You give an event, event name. You can pass on additional parameters um, like how much um, per event is worth it. So for example, I'm going to say um, event underscore value um, and I will say every event is worth uh, $20 for me. So event value is 20 and then event currency is uh, in USD, right? Um, you mentioned those things. Um, you can leave your property as it is. Under advanced setting, you can choose, um, you know, you can leave it as once per event. I think that's fine. 
Okay, so everything looks good in your tag configuration. The next thing is triggering. When do you want that event to be triggered? So click on triggering and then um, I have already created a trigger that says I only want to fire that event when someone visits my thank you page after filling out the form. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I'm going to quickly show you. Basically, click, click on this plus and then say contact us thank you trigger under tag configuration choose page view okay and then click on some page views and then you say page url contains slash thank you dash contact us now where, where did i get this url from basically if i fill out uh, a test form over here I am basically redirecting all my visitors to this URL, which is the thank you page. So you copy this part of your URL. Um, don't copy this entire thing. Uh, basically just copy, copy the thank you page URL and then you paste it over here. And that's how you're configuring. So I have already um, configured that as my trigger. So I'm gonna select my thank you page trigger and then hit save. Awesome. So I have my new tag ready and then you go ahead and click submit, which is basically publishing that tag. Now, if you want to check whether it's working fine or not, um, the simple thing to do is go to your thank you page, hit refresh. Um, and if you um, actually click on preview, go back to your tag manager and click on preview. Um, what happens is um, you will basically um, see a Google Tag Manager Tag Assistant and then go to your, paste in your thank you page URL and your Tag Assistant over here, um, hit start, all right. Okay, so now I'm in my thank you page, go back to your Tag Assistant, hit continue and there you go, GA4 contact us event, um, and that's the new one I created. So as you can see, the the, the event is firing properly on my thank you page. Um, so basically you can be sure that you have set up everything properly in your tag manager. Now, to, to see the results, um, you go back to your new Google Analytics 4 property, and then under all events, you should get to see a new event name um, that you just created using Tag Manager. So in this case, I have an event name called as generate underscore lead. Um, and as you can see, if I clicked on it, I'm getting data such as, okay, I got like three events. Um, they all are coming from um, just one user. It was basically me because I was the one, uh, you know, firing that or testing it. You also get to see like the the parameter value, like it's referral, um, and and then you get like so many other like event value. Look at that, awesome! So I have I had passed on this event value, um, I, had, I had created this custom variable, right? Event value, and I said that every event is ten dollars. So as you can see, parameter name event value is ten dollars. Um, all right, look at this event currency. It's it's USD. So it's, it's working pretty fine and now the best part is uh, when you go back to your events main page or, uh, sorry, it's over here. When you go back to your all events page, uh, you can now check this box or toggle that says mark as conversion. So basically what Google is saying is when you turn the switch on um, an event as a conversion, um, you it will basically start considering it as a, as a custom conversion and then it will start tracking. So then you will start getting more data over here. Um, and also under user acquisition report, um, if we scroll down, uh, you will also start getting you know um, your events data over here. So for example, as you can see, I have my uh, user acquisition report over here that, that is basically giving me how much traffic I'm getting from organic, referral, blah, blah, blah. 
if I go to my events column and if I choose generate lead, um, I will start getting details on how many leads am I generating and from which um, you know medium I'm getting from, how many users it took to generate that many leads, how much sessions have I interacted, uh, average time spent, and all the other awesome data that you usually expect uh, from Google Analytics 4. So I hope guys it makes sense, it's super easy. Um, the reason I wanted to you know, use the Google Tag Manager uh, you know, approach was when I created uh, an event, actually you can even create an event through your Google Analytics 4 you know, dashboard itself, for, but for some reason it didn't work for me. So I didn't want to show something that is not working uh, and that's why I took a safe bet and I wanted to explain a step-by-step -step approach on how to measure goals, actually goals is in the previous version, uh, how to measure custom conversions and events in your new, new Google Analytics 4 property using Google Tag Manager. All right, so that's it for my video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Thank you.